Hi guys. I'm up in my workroom looking at making a radio controlled car or converting a car to radio control using bits and pieces from some of my old charity shop finds. But I've got diverted. A while ago I bought these chattering teeth in Wilco. Let's just take that off because I've just been trying something out. So what you do is you wind them up and they chatter. And when I bought them I had this idea of using that to power something, like a boat. Now this bit of wire strip here actually comes from windscreen wipers uh, from a car. And I've just stuck that bit of tape on there out of interest. Let's tape it in place. And you'll see that vibrates. And what I'm thinking of doing is putting some sort of fin on the back of it. I may cut it down a bit because it's rather long. Uh, maybe not this. I want something that's a bit flexible so it emulates a fish's tail. And I'll mount this on a little styrofoam boat and see if we can get the flapping of the tail up and down to push the boat along. So, completely different to what I came up here to do, which was radio controlled cars, but it is a project that I planned to do months ago. So that's what I'm going to look at. Out of one of my pizza trays. There's no particular significance to any dimensions here. I just need it to be able to sit in the water, preferably to float. So I'll cut this shape out that I've roughed out here, hot glue it together, and see what happens. So can we test this without dropping my phone in the water? wasn't quite what I wanted, was it? I mean, it did move. <laughs> it went round in a circle. But I wanted a bit more directional stability, like going forwards. Okay, try again. Nah. We're not really getting a success there, are we? I was hoping, using this piece of plastic, um, have a plastic bag, I was hoping to get a fishtail effect, but whether we're getting it or not, it's not driving it forwards. Oh, failure. I think I've cracked it. I've been slowly reducing the length of that flexible tail to try and get it I suppose, resonate at the right frequency. Or vibrate, or flex, whatever word you want to use. But we do seem to have forward motion now. Not very far, but we do seem to have got the principle right now. Get the flexibility or the length of the tail right so it matches the resonant frequency, I suppose, of the chattering teeth. But we're definitely getting forward motion now. So I think that'll do. We're not going to get much more distance because these just don't last long enough. But we've been able to convert chattering teeth to forward motion for a boat. Um, I suppose you ought to just run over the shape of the boat because I don't think I showed you me actually building it. I showed you it. Um, laid out as a pizza tray. I've got a bit of a curve up the front. 
I've got some fins to try and help it to go straight. Um, and that's about it really. The teeth are just glued in place. Got a hole there so I can wind it up. We've got the flexible metal bar. And a bit of um, clear plastic cut from a pop bottle to actually give us the spread. And then a fairly stiff plastic bag. I cut that up. As you saw, it was much too long originally. And I've cut it down until it's flexing at the right rate to give us forward motion. Like a fishtail. I've wound it up as far as I can. Seems to work better if I get that tail under the water to start with. Yeah, full length of the bath.